Hey there, in this video we are going to look at parts of what we call expressions and equations. So let's start by talking about what an expression is versus what an equation is. So an expression is a combination of mathematical symbols, which can include a mixture of numbers, operations, and a grouping symbols, and it does not include an equal sign. So that's key here. An expression does not have an equal sign in it. So these are three examples of expressions. 2x minus 3, negative 4 times y squared plus 6, and 17 plus 8 times w minus 9 all over 2. So these are expressions because, again, they have a mixture of numbers, operations, which means addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division and grouping symbols. So that could be parentheses, that could be brackets. Um, technically, a grouping symbol, symbol could indicate, um, for example, a square root or a cube root or something along those lines, or absolute value bars, things like that that group numbers together or indicate um, oper doing that operation first. All right, now on the other hand, equations are going to be statements that are two expressions that are equivalent. So that's going to have an equal sign. So every single example here does have an equal sign, and that is what differentiates it from an expression. So it is essentially just two expressions set equal to each other. Now, in an equation, for it to actually be a true equation, then we need to make sure that the left side and the right side have the same value. That doesn't mean that they look identical. For example, 2x minus 3 obviously doesn't look like 5, but whatever x is, 2 times that value minus 3 will give us 5. That's what this is saying. So this left side should be equal to 5 or equivalent to 5. All right, now let's take a look at the parts of expressions and equations. So for example, we have 3 minus 4x. So 3 minus 4x is, in fact, an expression, whereas 2x plus 5 equals 7 is an equation. And again, that's because the equation has an equal sign. The expression does not. So here, looking at um, some vocabulary that comes with these terms. So the 3 here, the number on its own, the 5 and the 7, those are all what we call constants. So those are each constants. So that's a constant. And then these two are each a constant as well. And a constant is just a number that's on its own. Um, it doesn't have a variable, a letter with it. It is literally just a number on its own. Now, variable, I just used the word variable. Let's talk about what that means. So a variable is going to be a, typically a letter um, that is uh, used to represent an unknown value. So variables typically we're going to see like x, y, and z, but it could be other letters as well. So those are going to be variables that represent unknown values or changing values. All right, and then looking at the four or minus four here and the two here, those are what we call coefficients. So a coefficient is basically a constant but attached to a variable, being multiplied by a variable. So um, four, negative four is a coefficient on x and two is a coefficient on x in this example over here. Again, because it's what's being multiplied by um, the variable. Okay, and then one more term that you have probably heard in other places, but that's going to be terms. So this is a term, this is a term, this is a term, this is a term, and technically this is also a term. So the purple, are what we call terms, and those are separated by addition and subtraction. So terms are going to be whatever encompasses that portion of the expression or the equation, but it's separated by addition or subtraction. Or like in this case on the seven, there is no addition or subtraction on that side, so this is just a single term on its own. So in a quick summary, we have expressions versus equations. Remember that equations have that equal sign. Expressions do not. 
Um, but otherwise, the terminology between the two is really the same. Uh, we have coefficients, which are, for example, the three and the four here, the numbers in front of the variables. And we see the x here and here. Those are variables. Same thing down here. We see the x is a variable. The four is a coefficient. And now the minus sign or the plus sign up here or the minus sign there, those are operators. So an operator is just a um, addition or subtraction, uh, technically multiplication or division as well. But that is an example of an operator. Okay, And then constants would be, for example, the 7 um, and the 5 or the negative 7 and the 5. And then up here, the negative 12. So those are your constants. Um, those do not have variables on them. And then terms are separated by addition and subtraction. So we have three terms up here, one, two, three. And then down here, we technically have three if you count the five that is on its own over here. So there's two terms on the left side and then three total.